Hey guys, it's Joel Tazia, and this is FIFA 12 Road 50 Wins episode 15. And this uh, episode we got four games in because I thought I'd try and speed up the series a little bit, so it's going to be a little longer video. Hopefully, you will sit here and enjoy it. If you don't, feel free to click off. But um, in the time of recording, it is Wednesday, and this will be uploaded on Thursday, hopefully. But um, yeah, Team of the Year came out today, Team of the Year, uh, Premier League Team of the Year. And if you haven't seen the players, which I'm sure everyone has by now, but I mean, they are insane, and if you get any of those, you are one lucky person. I mean, oh my good god, look at them. I'm looking at them right now, it's crazy. But, um, yeah, Van Persie looks just incredible. And uh, the, team of the, the team of the week's out as well, and that doesn't look too bad either. There's Mike on in it, so that might mean that Dan, Danny Alves' regular, his price goes down. And if it does, I hopefully will be able to make a bit of money from player matches, maybe pick him up for the team that I've got now that you have seen me do a squad builder on. Because I'm going to be, I'm going to be keeping that because I love playing with it. But, um, yeah, as you saw, that first game was a bit of a ball draw. It was only 1-0, and he scored a tramp goal at the beginning. And this game... I said I'm not going to be doing tramp goals, and I, I'm not going to be doing tramp goals, but this is from, obviously, from before I uh, stopped doing tramp goals, and there's two in this game, plus um, a normal goal, and he rage quits after the normal one. And this was probably the biggest, like, not most annoying thing I've probably done to someone all series. And I don't care. I do not care. At the beginning of the game, the kid started passing around the back for like the first three minutes, and then he booted it up and gave it to me. I thought, I'm going to just play and just try and get a goal. And I did a good job of it, because I got the goal. But um, he just couldn't really do anything, and we get on the counter-attack after a cross, and we're going to, well, we're just going to take that. So we got Quincy, and he is 94 pace. He's just going to get past everyone, and he's going to tramp it to... Fet Fazadis, and I still probably can't say his name right. I don't, I'm not bothered if I can't. But in Team of the Year for the Premier League, one of the noticeable things is that Ricky Lambert is in Team of the Year for the Premier League because Southampton got promoted. And his stats for uh, 84 are crazy. He's got 88 shot and 87 heading. Admittedly, his 80 pace ain't going to be that desirable, but people want him as a little tank striker. And then have a massive person to go with him, like, no, no, it's a slower, a faster person to go with him, so, you'd have the typical, like, Adebayor and Hernandez, who, funnily enough, this kid had, and, um, I get absolutely destroyed by him, I'll just let you watch the game and I'll talk about Team of the Year. But you can have Ricky Lambert and, say, Hernandez or Ricky Lambert and Cissé, one of, like, the, the big and small partnership, so you can set the other up. And, uh, looking at the Team of the Year, Dempsey looks like... A good player, but the only problem is he's left mid in his team of the year version, so that's going to be a bit undesirable. And uh, Kabai, Kabai looks like a monster. He's an 86 now, 80 pace, 86 dribbling, 87 shot. And I would want one. I really would want one. And Krell's got one. A cruel, cruel. It's cruel, isn't it? And um, Aguero, 91 overall, 90 pace, 95 dribbling, 94 shot. It echoes of the days of FIFA 11 when. He had two informs uh, for, no, he had one, no, I don't know, it was, was it one or two informs for Atletico Madrid? And they had similar stats, and he was only an 86, I believe, in his inform. And then he moved to Man City, and he got an inform pretty quick there. But the starting 11 looks pretty good. Company deservedly getting one. Mayan Baines deservedly getting one. Quite a lot of the man, there's, uh, I think there's three, four Man City players in there. And credit to them, they won the league, they deserve the most. Uh, Man United getting Rooney, as usual, because he scored 29 goals this season, I believe. And maybe his stats are lower than the Team of the Year version from January. But he was still, well, the 93 one will probably end up being more, because uh, he's bloody, he's got, he's blue, basically. He's shiny. You'd be like, oh, he's blue, we want him. Uh, Valencia looks crazy for a right mid. Uh... Van Persie, obviously this is going to be the main talking point of the team if you look, 96 shooting, 91 dribbling, and he's got that pace uh, upgrade on him, so he's going to be as good as Torres, with those crazy stats, and people are just going to be wanting him all over the place, and I reckon he'll end up settling at around 800k, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, and uh, Baines, Baines seems to be one of the favourites I'm looking at at the moment, if you look at his stats, he's a left back, very consistent stats all round, 82 pace, 82 shooting, 85 passing, 82 dribbling, 87 heading, no 87 defending, and he's got 73 heading, but then again he is quite short, but he's good at free kicks, if you haven't used him you will know he's good at, free. if you have used him you will know he's good at free kicks, there's no doubt about that. Company, he's going to be like the best defender in the game, because he's got 95 heading and 92 head, uh, 95 defending and 92 heading. 
And that is absolutely crazy for a centre back. He's got 75 pace, which makes him good as well. It's just, oh, he looks absolutely crazy. And Colaccini looks pretty good. 93 defending on a 85 centre back, 70 pace, maybe not that good. But Kyle Walker, 94 pace, and all the stats are consistent as well. He looks like the sort of player you definitely would have in any team, to be quite honest with you. If I could pick up one of these, I'd love it, but they're all going to be out of my price bracket. And if I do manage to get enough money to get one, I'll end up having to sell my whole team, so there's no way that's going to happen. But this is the last game, I believe, and watch this for a goal from Ben Arthur. It's, it's not a skill run, but we score from kickoff, and watching that is always good. We don't pass it to anyone, he just powers it there. And I'm, that was like the best immediate response you can have to a goal, possibly. Apart from scoring from like the halfway line from kickoff, but that's not going to happen that often. But I can't, I'm trying to look at the team of the week at the moment, I can't seem to on the console version, so we'll have to look on the web app, and I'll probably do that in another episode, but I really want a mic on, a mic on in form, because he's an 86 now, I think it's, I don't know actually, his normal version is an 85, so his 86 one might not be that expensive. But him, with my inform dead A, would be so good. Two team of the years, but I'm not going to be able to afford that. I could sell Mike on the 8A, get Hulk or someone, or Danalino, and I could probably afford some. I could finish this team, to be honest, which I might end up doing. But anyway, we've got one more goal left of this episode. I hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, yeah, so it was a 6 3 win. Danny Welbeck getting the final goal. But yeah, we'll be trying to get four goals, four goals an episode. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Love you.